bees, wasps, yellow jackets, hornets. All these are different names used to talk about a very similar insect. All right, we got an anonymous report of a beehive back here in the woods. He said, I just got stung. He said about 10 foot on the other side of the fence over here, there was a beehive. You can't miss it. There it is. He's not lying. It's right there. You see it hanging right there? Like a hornet's nest? That's a paper wasp right there. For the most part, bees don't build giant hives that are completely exposed. Their bee hives tend to be more internalized or protected by some natural element, like this tree right here. The colony is inside of a hollow cavity in a live oak. Bees will sting to protect their colony, but each insect only has the chance of stinging you one time and then they perish in the most selfless feat of sacrificing themselves to save the colony. Honeybees, European honeybees to be specific, a name so synonymous with stinging insects, we pretty much call just about everything that stings and flies a bee. One of the most important insects in the world, not only do they produce honey, but they are the number one pollinator for all of our food crops. And without bees, I guarantee you, we would not have been nearly as successful. Placing my hand near the entrance of this colony, not to prove my braveness, just to prove the docileness of this species. Far too often, bees and wasps aren't given any respect. In fact, a lot of times they're killed needlessly, even though they have no intentions of harming anything. I feel as though if more people realize the importance of these insects, these insects would be a lot safer and our world would be a better right, so place. Of course, gotta go closer. Be careful now, if they are paper wasps, they will attack. Oh wow, that's big. We're getting up on it now. Then I see something flying below. It's right there, in that tree right there. All right, I'm gonna zoom in. All I know is, when they come out, they'll come out with a vengeance. Okay. That is absolutely beautiful, y'all. Bees are one of mankind's best friends. They are fuzzy in appearance. Let's just call them our teddy bear. Now, wasps, on the other hand, don't have all that hair, and they're more sleek in appearance with a slimmer abdomen and somewhat shiny. Bees feed on pollen and nectar. They bring the nectar and pollen back to their colony and produce a substance known as honey. In fact, bees are the only insect that produce a food substance that humans actually eat. On the other hand, wasps don't actually produce honey. They feed on other insects and even human waste byproducts like food. Wasps will actually formulate an attack and raid the honeybees' hives, feeding on the larvae and the honey. A wasp colony can have up to 10,000 wasps in it. However, that's nothing compared to the beehive, which can have over 100,000. And each member of these colonies plays their own specific roles. Queen wasp is responsible for building the hive, whereas the queen bee doesn't build the hive at all. In fact, female bees are worker bees. Only the queen has the privilege of mating and selecting the location for the new colony. Wasps and bees can be quite scary, but for the most part, they're harmless. So if you just give them their space and let them be, everyone will be better off. While getting stung by these insects is never fun, I do feel it is necessary to better understand these insects and help spread the word to the public. Please subscribe to this channel and I'll keep doing what I do. Uh, there's probably 10,000 or more bees right here in this one spot alone. You can actually hear the vibrations of all the wings fluttering. When you get this close to this many bees, it's truly incredible. Now, I'm gonna put my hand on their colony and see if they attack. Alright, quick. Ah. Ah. I think it's a guinea. I'm not sure yet. Can you see it in there? Feel it in my temple. Yeah. Me. I'm not sure yet though. As you see, he's trying with all his might to sting, but there's just no stinger there. That probably is 
is not a sting. That's probably more like just spines. We learned today that every species of male stinging bee, wasp, or hornet doesn't actually possess a stinger. The stinger is a modified ovipositor, which is a reproductive organ, but only the females of each species possess. When I was a child, I remember my father finding a yellow rat snake in our birdhouse. He told me about the circle of life, and through time I learned about the balance of our ecosystems. Every day a new adventure, a new creature, shows like the crocodile hunter. It became my goal to catch every species of animal possible. Then YouTube came along and gave me a platform. Now I can share with my subscribers. Thanks for your support. It means a lot to me, the Florida wildlife guy. Oh hey, you're still there. As it turns out, paper wasps only use their colony for about a year. And then they move on to a new location, usually around a body of water, leaving their beehive or wasp paper wasp colony to deteriorate in time. I just couldn't let that happen, so I decided to extract this one and bring it back to the new headquarters for the great outdoors. So be sure to subscribe. In one of the future videos, I'm gonna do a grand tour of the new headquarters for the great outdoors. See you soon.